All right. So today I want to talk about something new that was added in the 425 release of the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. Now, just a big list of release notes, a lot of really cool stuff. I'm not going to cover it all. Maybe in some other videos or anybody's interested in something, let me know. What I want to talk about, though, is... Is any of the list here? Ah, Geometry Engine Updates. And I just, it's a small feature. It's something that I've been wanting in Geometry Engine for a while. So I'm going to cover it because I like it. I think once you see uh, how cool it works, you're going to find a lot of use for it. And that is intersect lines to points. Now, why do I think this is so cool? Because I'll tell you why right now. What I would do a lot of times, my, my first instinct is I want to intersect a couple of lines and I want that vertex for the intersect, right? So my first instinct was to go to intersect, right? creates new geometries from the intersections between two geometries. But that only uh, accounts for like polygons, right? Like intersecting polygons, or maybe intersecting lines that share an edge uh, somewhere along the line. Uh, you'd get that uh, intersection point. But you wouldn't get the opposite or the vertex from lines, right? It's always going to be the same geometry type you give it in is the geometry type you get out. Right, that's just the rule. And if you're not aware of the um, geometry engine methods, a lot of them are based off of what's in the geometry service. So it follows those particular rules as well. You can always check the documentation on geometry services for some of these, if you want a little bit more detail. They don't cover much more detail than what we have in the doc. The doc is great, so that's really cool, right? And then intersects just tells you that they intersect. Now to do this manually, you gotta do a kind of combination of like a cut and stuff, and then find the um, two uh, ends of a line that meet. And then you know that, oh, that must be the uh, where my lines meet, right? When, once you cut and everything like that. Kind of a pain to do. So I'm really happy to see this new addition to Geometry Engine. I think it's really cool. Okay, so here I have uh, a map with a layer of bike trails in Maryland, right? So it's a pretty good uh, layer, pretty complex. Now assume I want to maybe start drawing uh, a line here along some streets, or maybe I already have street data and I wanna find out all the different intersections that are gonna intersect with that bike trail, right? This kind of thing you might normally wanna do, if you have like a route, right, you've done some directions to get somewhere and you want to find out where you're going to intersect with, for example, here, bike trails or maybe uh, railroad intersections or freeway intersections, uh, freeways that are underpasses. So maybe you need to know that in particular because maybe you have trucks going by and you don't want them going under those underpasses because of height limits or something like that. Things like that that you might want to pull out and use for your analysis, whatever you're going to do. So how would you do something like that? So I'm bringing in a few uh, helper modules here. So I've got the sketch widget, just let me draw my line. Uh, I'm bringing in the intersect lines to points method from Geometry Engine Async, and you'll know, see why I'm using that in a second. Also, I'm gonna use union to do some union of geometries. And again, we'll see why in a second. I'm doing, uh, I'm bringing debounce from Promise Utils. Again, you'll see why in a second. So I've got a couple layers here. I've got the layer that's going to be used for my sketch widget. I have a point layer that I want to use to show all different points in the map. So once I've got my sketch widget, I've got a layer view, and all that's set up. Um, I just set the extent to the layer. Let's do some stuff here and get uh, some stuff happening. So let's go over here. All right, auto update is false. Okay, so first thing I want to do is let's go ahead and look at the sketch widget. Right, so if I come over here, uh, Sketch Widget provides some events I can listen for. So I can listen for the create event. That's really what I'm really most, most interested in. I want to know when I'm going to start creating a line. Uh, I need to know when I start creating the line and when it's active. So I'll be doing two different things here uh, to handle everything. So, okay, let's come in here. I'm going to say sketch on. 
Create. All right, so what do I want uh, when I do the create? I need a few properties off that event. I need the graphic, I need the state, and the tool. All right, so right away, uh, what is my base case going to be? So uh, I'm only concerned when I'm drawing the line. So if tools not equal to polyline, then just return. Right. I don't care. I'm not going to do anything if I'm not drawing lines. Uh, it's not something I'm interested in working with right now. Uh, so then what I want to do is I need to have two uh, things I'm going to do. So I need the start octet spell and the active. So two different things are happening here. So I need to create a um, variable to hold my union geometry. Right. And then I will be finding that inside the start here. So if state is equal to, let's do triple, start, then what I want to do is I want to remove everything off the point layer, right? So remove all there, and we're going to clear the graphics layer for the um, uh, what I'm drawing on as well. So get rid of everything there, right? So, okay, that's cleared up. And then what I need, I need to get my layer view. So I'm going to go ahead and say await uh, when, uh, what I want here, when once. So using reactive utils, I only care about the one time that's going to happen. So when once, uh, and that's going to be, let's see, so not layer view uh, updating. There we go. So I, I want to know when the layer view is done updating because I'm you know, removing some graphics and stuff. So the layer needs to do some drawing. So when that is done, I know that my layer view is now ready to do, start doing queries. So let's create a query here. It's going to be from the source layer. Great query. And the geometry for my query is going to be uh, the view extent. What I'm going to do is I want to get all of these lines that are my bike trails here and I want them directly from the layer view. It's going to make it much easier for me to do some client side uh, fun stuff with geometry engine if I do it this way. So then what I want to do is I need the features now. It's going to be equal to await. If I could spell. Oh my goodness. Layer view dot query features the query okay all right there so now i got my features and now i need well, geometry the geometry engine can't work with features like graphics and these only work with geometry so we're going to union all these individual lines into one giant polyline right so that's gonna be my union union geom and i spelled it wrong up here too huh Look at that. Why did anybody tell me about that? Union Geom. Okay. That's equal to uh, await because I'm using the geometry async. Um, so it's got to be promise based. So union. And that's going to be the. Um, actually, no way. I get any of my geometries first. Let's do that. Let's uh, so you say const geometries is equal to. Features.map. And we're going to grab the geometry off the graphic. Oh my gosh. And we're going to return the geometry. Like so. Spell that right? I hope so. Spell it wrong there. There we go. Nice and happy. So now we're going to say we're going to union the geometries. And we have a union geometry, right? Now, if you want to. See what it looks like. Let's just do this real quick as a uh, quick test to make sure this is working. So we've got geometry and the union geo. Okay, so let's run this. And then we're going to just start drawing. I have an error. Where's my error? Unexpected, reserved word 
Oh, I need to make this ASIC. My bad. There we go. Now run it. Air is gone. We should be good. Sorry, I had to make that ASIC there. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And if I start drawing, there we go. So these are all of the features from the uh, bike trails that are in the layer view, and I'm showing them on the map, right? I won't keep this here when we actually get uh, a little further into this. I'm going to not keep them at all. But I do also want to point out that these are the geometries at this particular scale. If I zoom in, you'll notice that the geometries coming from the feature service now and updating the layer view are much more detailed there. So that's something also to keep in mind if you're using this for any kind of analysis, right? Scale matters. So, okay, let's just finish drawing there. Okay, no big deal. So now I need to be concerned about when the state is active. This is when I think I should be doing most of my work here. So uh, let's see here. If state is equal to active, then we're gonna go ahead and say that uh, I need some point geometry. So const point geoms, make it capital G just to make me happy, um, is going to be equal to await intersect lines to points. Man, that's a mouthful. All right. So in this case here, what we're going to say is I want to take the, the graphic that is being drawn, which would be you know, the graphic as I'm moving this around the map when it's active. So that's going to be the geometry I'm interested in and the union geometry, right? Did I spell that right? You know what? I don't trust myself, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Copy, paste, because as you can see, my spelling is absolutely atrocious. Okay, now I need some graphics. So it's going to create some point graphics. It's going to be equal to... The geometry, so point geons. Oh my gosh. Point G. Oh, come on. Geons.map. And, okay, it's just X. Okay, so it wanted me to no, do this here. Wrap it like this. Okay, there we go. Uh, so the geometry is going to be X. Let me do a, a symbol here. And uh, type is going to be. Simple, simple marker. The uh, outline is going to be with a, a width of one. It's going to be a color. This, I think this is like, um, I've used this before. So 45, one, that should work. And that's the outline color. And then the color is going to be uh, 240, uh, geez, I don't know, 120, uh, 50. One. Yeah, so that should be a, a kind of an orange marker uh, on the map. All right, so now at this point, what I can do is I can clear the uh, point layer, remove all, and I can say point layer dot add many. And we're going to add all the graphics. Bam. All right. Now this should work. Run this. All right. Zoom in a little bit here. It's getting a little closer. Just to try it out. All right. So start drawing. And there we go. Oh, that's nice. All right. Okay. Now I do want to highlight something here. That's cool for now, but let's go and rerun it. And if I am, uh, let's see like the scale here, right? Well, actually, you know, this is performing better than I expected. I was expecting to have a bunch of points just kind of like trailing off. Um, so be a little staggered. What I would do and what I suggest you do is to wrap this in a debout and the api provides one under the promise details so i'm going to wrap the whole thing in debout so that 
when it's interactive with the um, sketch widget as active here, right? As I'm trying to draw these, as I'm panning around the map and be really interactive here, it's going to debounce it a bit so it doesn't do it for every single movement of the cursor. Uh, now, to make this look kind of decent, let's go ahead and remove the uh, layer view graphics that we were kind of redrawing there. Now, let's just run this. And let's go ahead. Come in here. Let's really kind of zoom out. We'll start over here and just kind of like start drawing down there. And there you go. Check that out. I think that's really, really cool. Because now I can go ahead and do some pretty cool interactive stuff where I can intersect various uh, layers for lines and kind of highlight them on the map of where there are some points of interest, right? So if I were to come in and say closer here, this kind of mimic what like a maybe a route would look like or something. And you can even make this. Uh, so let's say I, I create a route layer and I start at this, uh, this point over here and I'm coming up this way. I come up this way and I maybe intersect this line here and I come down. Uh, let's see, let's come up this street over here. Right, and then I come up this way here and maybe I need to cut across back this way, right? So this is kind of a basic route, but maybe I want to avoid these for whatever reason. So I can now I can take these points here that were the intersects uh, using Geometry Engine with that intersect line of points and use these points as barriers in my routing uh, logic. And then I can go ahead and create a new route off of that to make things easier. It's just kind of a nice tool to have in Geometry Engine. Okay, so I just kind of want to highlight that. I think it's really cool. It's kind of a, a nice addition to the API and Geometry Engine, but I think it's one of those really nice things that you could do in desktop GIS software that you couldn't easily do in the web, right? Now you can really easily do it. Like I said before, you could have done this on your own with a few methods and hook some things up together with Geometry Engine and done quite a bit of work, but now it's just way easier for you to accomplish that same goal. So give it a shot, try it out. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.